in this video let's talk about vault agent for kv so as we all know vault is built on zero trust principles so the application that needs to fetch secrets from vault are required to make authentication request against the vault by providing a vault token so token plays important role okay as you can see here number two so vault agent can make the authentication process easy by obtaining a vault token and transferring to the applications so assume this is the application and so this is a application whenever it wants the token so the ag agent plays a middle player who makes the authentication process easy so when vault agent starts up it automatically authenticates into the vault and receives a vault token and the process is also known as the auto auth so if i show you the um, hcl file the config file required for the vault agent is like this and this is the auto auth i was talking about and here the method could be app rule could be uh, jwt so there are multiple auth, auth methods so here in this example i'm using app rule in this section we have already discussed you know app rule in detail so please go through this session uh, if you have not yet and in this video i'll be focusing on vault agent for token and kv so the process will be like this for uh, token and this will be for secrets so here secrets means could be kv could be ssh could be pki could be ad could be ldap could be anything so it's just a common name secrets vault secrets and we have the templates required for it so template as in uh, store those templates in the in, with ct mpl format and we gave a reference of this ct mpl here this template so this will be the input and the output will be stored here so i'll i'll so today's session will be fo more focused on this all vault agent for kv okay so i have started my agent in vault dev mode following this process and if we if we can see it from here root so we can see now it is empty but things are created so there are few files required like you know whenever uh, i do my auto auth by app role so i need as we have seen we need role id and secret id without which we won't be able to do the retrieve the token so here i'm retrieving all my role id and uh, secret id in this file role id kv and secret id kv and later this auto auth method will uh, read this value from here so this will come later okay this file consumption will come in later let's first uh, create a policy and create a kv and then make use of it so i have created this file okay the role id secret id right now it is empty no it is not so let me make it empty okay the file got empty now so if i do all it these these are all empty files right now so now i'm in enabling this kv and i'm adding one secret there kv agent with username and password and i'll retrieve it just to see whether the kv is working fine or not yes i'm able to retrieve the username and password now let's create a policy for this path okay to restrict uh, user whosoever using that token should be allowed to only read and update so i'm creating a file i'm creating a policy here with this name if i do ll now okay this policy got created so let's format it then write this policy with this policy name and do policy list again so this policy list will give me whether the policy has been created or not meanwhile if i go to this policy section you can see the policy has been created um, I'm enabling the app role and uh, creating this role. So let's focus on this secret ID number of users for this time. So I'm using this app three 
and then ttl as one minute and deliberately keeping this ttl more so that we shouldn't be getting any conflict because of this so here is my rule rule must have been created and this is how i read my rule of it let me token here i am creating a role and this is how i read my role now here i'm keep reading reading my role id via this format okay like this You see this is my role id and this is my secret id and if i show you the same it ends with 3d67 okay 3d67 and if i see here secret id is 3d67 now let's try to get the token so now you can see the attempt to retrieve number of use secret id is 3 so here this is the first time okay this is the second time this is the third time and now if i do it again so i should get that you know the invalid secret id because it is no more valid so what i have to do now i have to retrieve it again to make it work okay now the token uh, now it's done okay so let's create this um, gmpl file okay and here you can see what i'm trying to do is reading a secret kv agent secret and using that dot data data dot username and password so i'm creating this file okay file has been created now if i do cat with this so i must see the file okay now let's switch back to my agent so here as we have said before this is my vault address vault related details method i'm using is approval sync will be my token will be retrieved sync is like you know output so i am output my token to this file and here i'm i'm doing the output again but in the wrapped fashion i'll show you how so right now you can see the token kv and token kv wrapped files are not yet created listener is again this one tls obviously this is dev mode so it's not required and template i have used is this one now there are two ways to start agent one is this is by default but if we need a logged in detailed way so we can do this so let me just execute this now you can see the process has been started okay and if you go here and the secret kb so you can see my username password got created this is my token and this is my wrapped token so now i can share this one or, or or this is the one i can make use of but now here if you pay if you have paid a close attention here the token ttl is of 30 seconds okay and maximum is of one minute so now the token we have is token we have is ends with du d04 okay so you can see here du d04 so let me do one thing let me just slow down the time we have associated okay so this time it said that secret id it's been done because the maximum amount of uses we have kept is as three so let me modify the role again okay so this time secret id use i'll keep it as 10 secret id ttl is one minute okay and uh, ttl let me keep it for 30 seconds and this will be for 10 seconds so number of token uses is five okay so let me okay the role has been updated now let me 
and uh, secret id and then let me start the vault hn okay it has started now let's pay attention to this token it is now rke okay so rke you can see the renewal of token is happened but was, you see it has got, it, it got changed y to m now let's see again you can see tfc So after every 10 seconds, you can see the token is changing after every 10 seconds because the time we have kept it as 10 seconds. That's why. And uh, yeah, after 10 use of this secret ID, we should see that error that uh, the um, secret ID is not valid. Okay. Yep. So invalid secret ID because all 10 attempts has been done. So this is about but but our KV will remain same. Okay. So secret KV. Now we got this. Then the application can use either this token or can use directly this uh, KV. So if, yeah, if I switch back to this again. So we started with this vault agent. We got our token then file sync and the application will make use of that token or KV or if it is secret then we have created that template and then via that template on the consumption has happened so this is about vault kv by the vault agent and uh, in the next session we will see the same but uh, via windows service and then followed by the pk thanks so that's pretty much for this stay with me in the next session see you bye Thanks for watching my video, please like, comment and subscribe, this will help me to work on myself.